Roberta Popescu. I'm co-founder of Exact Size. Um, we are a company that uses AR and AI to uh, measure your body in real time. We're helping at leisure companies with their online returns. Um, my co-founder and I started a company that uh, was selling at leisure products online. And uh, we soon found out that returns uh, would make your company not profitable in very short time. So what we did, we pivoted and we found a solution for the online returns. Majority of the returns were coming back because our supplier wasn't very reliable in terms of, of sizing. And um, although customers were um, ordering in the size that they would um, order from other platforms, our sizes were a bit different. So when the customers were returning the products, it was mostly due to size. So what we did, we created initially on our own app, we created the measuring functionality and we saw improvements. However, this is where we kind of ran out of funding. So we funded ourselves for the majority of the first company, which unfortunately uh, we had to close. So there are many challenges. Uh, going back to the banks where we ob obtain original funding because banks need assets as collateral and you can only put a mortgage on a house once or maybe twice if you're lucky but then, then you cannot use the same asset over and over that's the banks they don't really care for ideas and without traction they don't fund you unless you're established at which point you probably don't need them and then in terms of angel investors the ones that we've been approaching so far they require at least another angel investor to go in with them. In terms of how female founders are perceived by investors, I don't think it's different than how they're perceived in general. If a female founder is too assertive, it's perceived as aggressive. It's, in layman terms, rubbing people the wrong way. Whereas if the co-founder, my co-founder says the same thing just because he's male, he's perceived differently. As I mentioned, I, I feel that perception, it's very hard to change. It's only because it's unconscious. It's something that's in your DNA. And unfortunately, when we go in front of investors, it's something that you need from them. We've already factored in the um, evolution of AI, the self-aware AI. It will help us grow our app, for instance, in our case. So right now we're offering um, our customers less returns. In the future with AI and self-aware AI, we offer predictability. So if you have a customer that purchased one item, you know what their propensity to buy another item is or how often is that, and then you can either level set your expectations for that customer or or you can have your marketing campaigns or your marketing emails done successfully as opposed to you know pestering customers with emails i've learned that uh, it's better to work with technology than against it so hopefully we'll all do that